Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pashpika. Video we're gonna take a look at the art haul. Recently, I purchased a few of the art supplies from the Amazon. So we're gonna take a look at these art supplies and how they can actually help us in creating a beautiful art world. The tool is Kister with art. Before go back, consider clicking like button, guys. I do appreciate that. If you want more such video future, consider subscribing and the bell icon. Whenever I'm gonna upload new videos, you're gonna get notified about it. Supplies. That I purchased recently, and they have come in the good purchasing order. So I'm gonna take a look at these art supplies. First colors that I received was a Della Roni watercolor aquarellia. Now I never ever used the Della Roni aquarellia watercolor before, and I heard that a lot of the artists using them. Of course, these are not that proficient watercolors, but still they come at a really affordable price, and I was kind of like interested in actually uh, using them and seeing how vibrant the colors are and how beautiful they are. So I purchased this one. So it's amazing De La Roni watercolor so you just gonna be opening up and you're gonna be receiving like this let me just open up so something like this you're gonna receive this kind of the watercolor tubes now they have the six color sets uh, although they were having the 12 color sets as well but I've ordered the six color sets because I'm not really sure what's the quality of the color is they are really professionals or they are just the normal basic I wasn't really sure so that's why I ordered a small package because if I'm ordering a six one 12 one and then I was like I don't know whether they are good quality or not and if I don't want to use them in the future then that would be the waste okay and I don't want to really waste because kind of like a zero waste person but so that's why i ordered a very small packaging a very small set that i'm just gonna open up the ones you're gonna see the seal is there okay so we're gonna be testing this particular watercolor on a piece of paper but that was the first watercolor set that i received from the amazon i like the pretty much of the packaging we're gonna take a look at that whether they are really good quality or not in a second the Winsor and newton watercolor set watercolor pants half pants that i purchased so I purchased three colors, uh, the red and blue and yellow, uh, I, although they were having the various different color sets. I was looking for Winsor & Newton, the uh, Winsor & Newton professional one, but I didn't find the professional one. These are the Winsor & Newton Cotman set. So I purchased a three one. It's a very half pan set, although they were having the tubes as well, but I didn't purchase the tube. I was like, I want to try the first, the pan. Uh, if it's good quality, then I'm going to purchase an entire set. It comes like a... Pretty much of the three of the done is come with a pretty good packaging. The packaging is quite good of these watercolors. And I, let me just open these sets and see how it's actually looking like. Okay, so this is the Winsor and Newton. I hope it's visible in the camera. Winsor and Newton Cotman watercolor set. I was looking for a professional one. I didn't got a professional one. I got a Cotman uh, one. So I thought that let's purchase a Cotman. Small, small pants. Winsor and Newton Cotman watercolors. These are looking pretty beautiful, isn't it? Oops, so this one is the first pan, the red color. Pretty interesting, right? Let me just open the rest too as well. Okay, so we are with the cadmium yellow. It's quite liquidy. Oh no, the color is actually being gone into the polythene wrap. So this one is the third pan. Okay, here we are with the blue. Blue, blue comes up finishing red cadmium yellow and prussian blue so cadmium red prussian blue and this one is the cadmium yellow so i ordered the three pants only just to test them to see whether they are worth the money or not so next one i ordered is the brush pen set i ordered basically the two brush pens uh, this is the first time me using the brush pen before that i didn't use it so this is a kind of like a brush you're getting over here okay so let me one is the small so this one is the small you can clearly see that and this one is the large so i didn't order the medium one because i find that the small and large were going to work you have to open up like this okay and then you can add the water over here and then you can fill this tank the water tank and then just uh just use a screw and seal it up and then use your brush pen 
So that is the third one. I ordered the two brush pen sets. The next is also pretty interesting, like Faber Kessel pencils. Now, in this particular package, which you're seeing over here, in this particular packaging, I received the Faber Kessel. I ordered the Faber Kessel uh, six sets. And now I do make the graphite portraits. I used to do a lot, but recently I'm not doing that much because I'm focusing on the other stuff. So anyways, I ordered the six set because I'm going to see whether they are really worth the price or not. I'm a kind of like a person who ordered the small set in the beginning to test the colors, to test the, the item. And if I find worth it, then I ordered the entire bulk of these sets. So that's why I ordered in the very, very small quantities of these art supplies. This particular packaging, it's also coming into very beautiful packaging. I like the way they package these stuffs. They're pack beautiful these pencils are looking pretty beautiful i got the six sets over here and i think that they're gonna be pretty interesting and amazing pencil sets to use a faber castle pencils i ordered b b 2b 4b 6b 8b because i know that hb i use most often than the b 2b 4b 6b till the 8b so i have a lighter pencil till then i have the darker one so these are the shades i think this one would be the hb b uh 2b 4b 6b and 8b so that's pretty interesting so that was the another art haul. Then watercolor papers. Now I never used the Canson. All the items that I purchased in this art haul, I never ever used them before. So I was kind of like a doubtful whether they're really worth it or not. So I ordered in the very small quantities to test them to see whether they are worth it. Notepad, uh, it's the Canson. 300 GSM, 140 LBS, it's having 30 sh sheets and it's also having a one watercolor brush with that. So that's interesting, pretty great deal. So let me just open it up. This one is pretty cool. 30 sheets, pretty interesting and amazing. So this is a the brush they are having with that, so pretty fine. So this is the Kenson paper, brush first with our set, the Vincent and Newton Cotman color set. pretty fine isn't it what i'm gonna be using is yellow this one is pretty interesting and amazing is this prussian blue this one is also pretty interesting isn't it i'm uh, trying the negro that's the black color so like this one is a black color wow i like this and so this one is a green color pretty great the seal this is pretty weird I think it's the crimson red, not really a red color because if you compare with the Vincent and Cotman and this particular red, they don't really go hand in hand. This, this one is the ultramarine, this one is the black, this one is the sap green, this one is the crimson red. This one is the green shade is pretty interesting. Look at that, how the vibrant this color is. This one is the lemon yellow. Ah, the color is fine, isn't it? Not that bad. Pretty cool white. I like the white. Pretty cool. I like so much. The cadmium yellow of the Vincent and Cotman is pretty interesting than the lemon yellow of the Diller and Roni. I don't like that much. This one is the Prussian blue color for the Vincent and Cotman. I like this one. And I like the ultramarine blue as well for the Diller and Roni. I don't like the crimson red. Like, the crimson red for Diller Roni is not that great. I don't like this one color shade. Instead, I like the cadmium red for the Vincent and Cartman set. That the colors are not that bad. I like the ultramarine. This one is pretty vibrant. This one is kind of like a dull color for the crimson red for the uh, Diller and Roni. The sap green is also kind of like a dull color. A lemon yellow is kind of like fine, not that great white and don't have to talk about it and these three colors are pretty interesting so this one is the Vincent and Cotman set and this one is the Diller and Rowney set and we have used the brush from the Kenson and we have also used the paper the watercolor paper so I think fine the watercolor paper is pretty fine this one is the HB the B pencil so this one is the B we have is the 2B XB this one is would be the for softer and this one is the 6b 8b are meant for ultimate dark things some guys uh, let me just blend them hb the b 2b 4b 6b 8b your quality i'm just gonna go back and here you are getting a lot of the instructions which you can read so let me just try them. I fill the water tank of this particular brush. This one is a larger, no, smaller one. I ordered the smaller and the larger, both kind of like a combination. 
so you could see you have to press them on a piece of uh, paper piece of paper not that bad i find so you have to press these uh, brushes on the paper like you if you want to use the water in them see the water is coming out of it how the water is coming out of it and how it's actually blending the color so pretty fine inclusion i like the faber castle pencil stick set i'm gonna purchase the complete set okay the next thing which I like most about the Winsor & Cutman is that I like this color cadmium red. I like this uh, cadmium yellow. Prussian blue could be a little bit more vibrant. I didn't find this much that vibrant. But again, it could be more vibrant. So I'm going to purchase the set. We'll see. Uh, for the Dale and Roni, I don't like the crimson red. This Prussian blue, ultramarine blue is pretty much vibrant color. I like that. Lemon yellow, fine, fine. Not that much. Sap green is dull color. So overall, I think that the Dale and Roni and Winsor and Cotman is kind of like a worth the set. Of course, one or two colors here and there, you might see that they are not that vibrant, not that useful. But overall, I like that. And I also like the paper quality of the Kensen paper and its brush, which I use for the testing. So... That's my art haul. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you want more such art vlogs or more such art haul? I would really be interested in you. Let me know your own favorite watercolor sets or your own uh, company which you use as art supplies in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in this vlog. I'll gonna see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye, guys.